My name is Elizabeth Ritchie. I am a history lecturer at the Centre for History at the University of Highlands and Islands. I study a number of different areas. My specialist area is the early 19th century Highlands and I look at themes to do with religion, with education, with land use and with women and the family. And one of the areas that's developed out of that is looking at Scottish women's emigration to Canada. And I'm sitting here in the cemetery in Dornoch beside the grave of somebody called Catherine Sutherland who emigrated to Zora in Upper Canada in the 19th century. And she is one of the types of people that I get to research. And I teach on all of those areas, both at the undergraduate and at the master's level. Uh, my name's Dr David Worthington, I'm the head of the Centre for History. I've got a particular interest in terms of research and teaching in Central Europe, in coastal history and in Northern Scotland in the roughly 16th to 17th centuries. And these inform my uh, teaching at UHI as well. I have modules on all of these areas and these are the kind of interests that I take to my work here. Many of our students who are taking history are interested in going into the heritage industry or into museums once they graduate. That's a really great career to have, uh, but it's highly competitive. And one of the things that we've discovered is really helpful is if uh, applicants have some experience to draw on beforehand. And so we've been building good relationships with museums and heritage organisations all over the highlands and islands. Uh, I'm standing here in front of History Links in Dornoch, which is a local museum, and they're one of many places where you can volunteer uh, your time to get a wee bit of experience, experience in using archives, experience in cataloguing, experience in how you present history to the public. We have students who have volunteered at places like the Museum in Elgin, at the Museum and Art Gallery in Inverness, and with the Woodland Trust up at Ledmore and Migdale Woods. So there are all sorts of opportunities to work with heritage organisations to improve your CV and to give you many options for careers in history and heritage. I'm Dr Ian McInnes and my subject specialism is in medieval Scotland and medieval warfare. Uh, I like to do the blood and guts of history uh, and my, my modules uh, relate to my subject area so I do stuff on Scottish medieval history, uh, on the Crusades uh, as well as more specialist modules uh, in Crown Magnet relations in medieval Scotland, uh, war and chivalry in medieval Europe uh, and specialist modules on the life of Robert Bruce uh, and indeed 14th century Scotland uh, and Scottish warfare. I like to try and convert as many of my students as possible to enjoying medieval history. Okay, well one of the options we have at the Centre for History is a master's level study and you can do that locally and globally, so you can do it whether you're here in the Highlands and Islands or anywhere in the world. Um, we have three master's programmes which to some extent are set up for our undergraduate students who graduate and want to go on and want to find a pathway that will lead them on to further postgraduate research or into the jobs market. And the first one is the MLIT History, we also have the MLIT History of the Highlands and Islands and we have the MLIT History and Archaeology of the Highlands and Islands. Now they're all available full-time online from um, wherever you like, but they're also available as individual modules and you can do them as standalone modules. We have modules running on all sorts of themes, sport history, gender, the clearances, Scottish diaspora history and a number of other themes as well. Um, in the next year, most of them will be running and you'll have plenty of opportunities to choose from them. I suppose the main thing, if you want to find out more, is to go to our website, and that is www.history.uhi.ac.uk. My name is Dr. Catherine Zickerman, um, and um, I have two different research interests, really. Um, what I'm looking at is, uh, first of all, the Thirtieth War, which was a conflict which was um, fought in the 17th century between 1618 and 1648. And um, I specialize in looking into how this conflict actually impacted on the local population and on those uh, involved in the military uh, capacity. And um, I'm especially looking at the German component of uh, the Swedish army during this conflict. My second research interest focuses on maritime history. Um, when I was writing my PhD, um, I was focusing on uh, Scottish links with Northwest Germany and Scottish migration uh, to places like Hamburg and to Bremen. 
Um, and this is how I really got uh, interested uh, in uh, maritime history and maritime links between different nations. Um, I've especially looked um, at the history uh, of uh, the Scottish Northern Isles, Orkney and Shetland uh, recently and their maritime links with the wider world. Um, and I've also been very interested in um, mercantile uh, links and overseas trade. Um, and recently I've also looked at, um, at maritime uh, warfare, naval warfare, and especially uh, at illegal methods of maritime warfare, i.e. Uh, pirates, which has been really, really interesting for me and it's a really fascinating topic. So um, uh, all these uh, research interests are very much informing my uh, undergraduate modules uh, and I've offered um, modules on all of these uh, themes uh, in the past year.